There are so many people in the world, and, and, and you know, you may be watching this right now, and you have these incredible ideas, and what you think is missing is motivation. And that's not true. Because the way that our minds are wired, and the fact about human beings, is that we are not designed to do things that are uncomfortable, or scary, or difficult. Our brains are designed to protect us from those things because our brains are trying to keep us alive. And in order to change, in order to build a business, in order to be the best parent, the best spouse, to do all those things that you know you want to do with your life, with your work, with your dreams, you're going to have to do things that are difficult, uncertain, or scary, which sets up this problem for all of us. You're never going to feel like it. Motivation's garbage. You, you only feel motivated to do the things that are easy, right? Why is it so hard to do the little things that would improve my life? And what I've come to realize and what we'll talk a lot about today is that the way that our minds are designed is our minds are designed to stop you at all costs from doing anything that might hurt you. Mm. And the way that, 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 that this all happens is it all starts with something super subtle that none of us ever catch. And that is with this habit that all of us have that nobody's talking about. We all have a habit of hesitating. Mm. We have an idea, you're sitting in a meeting, you have this incredible idea, and instead of just, you know, saying it, you stop and you hesitate. Now what none of us realize is that when you hesitate, just that moment, that micro moment, that small hesitation, it sends a stress signal to your brain. So then your brain goes to work to protect you. It has a million different ways to protect you. One of them is called the spotlight effect. It's a known phenomenon where your brain magnifies risk. Why? To pull you away from something that it perceives to be a problem. And so you can truly trace every single problem or complaint in your life to silence and hesitation. Those are decisions. And what I do and what's changed my life is waking up and realizing that motivation's garbage. I'm never gonna feel. I am one decision away from a totally different marriage, a totally different life, a totally different job, a totally different income, a totally different relationship with my kids. Not like one decision, I'm divorcing you, in, in the marriage example, but one decision on, you know, you could be having a conversation with your spouse and you feel your emotions rise up and within a tiny window, those emotions can take over and can impact how your marriage goes. Or you can learn how to take control of that micro moment and make a decision to act in a way that actually shifts your marriage. Your life comes down to your decisions, and if you change your decisions, you will change everything. None of us wake up and say, today is the day I destroy my life. What we do is we kind of check out because it feels overwhelming, or we check out because we're afraid, or we check out because we start listening to self-doubt, and then we make these teeny tiny decisions all day long. We don't even realize it. Decision to not get up on time, a decision to not eat the right thing, a decision to snap at your kids, a decision to not speak in a meeting, a decision to not look for a job, a decision to not deal with your finances, a decision to not call your parents, like whatever it is. All day long, these tiny decisions that take you so far off track. And then you wake up like I did and, and you, you look at your life and you think, how the hell did I get here? And more importantly, how do you get back over there? And you have no idea. And so I was so trapped, and I know from your story, you felt the same way, like you knew that there was more in store for you, but you couldn't figure out how do you close the gap? How do you find the power that's in you? How do you discover your greatness? How do you solve these problems? It feels so overwhelming. The impact that I wanna have is I wanna teach people how to discover the power that's inside of them, to live fully in the open and share themselves, who they are, who they're not. Like there's so much fear that we live with. I, I wanna teach people how to live with more courage because courage is nothing more than the ability to do things that are uncertain. In today's world, where you have the internet, 
you can literally learn, launch, do anything. Anything. The only thing that's truly stopping you are the limiting patterns that you think, the, the, the self-doubt, the fear, the habits that you have. And you can break them. You can break them five seconds at a time. And so the impact that I want to have is I want to teach people a simple way to discover the power that's locked inside them and then to unleash it and go out and live the life they've always dreamt of.